Well, boys, it all started with this lap right here. This is qualifying. This is my qualifying lap. I think I ended up on a one minute point five or point six or something like that. But this is this is how it all started. I, I was not really feeling comfortable on this track all day. I mean, even in when we were, you know, before I was casting for EU, I was not feeling it. These these triples in were really difficult. This triple in right here is really challenging, and then you have to get this triple, which is even more challenging, and you got to step onto this. But really, this section right here is the most difficult. You have to like grease this double. Kind of see how I like sit into that? Then you have to get over. That. I still came up short. Get over that triple. If you could do that and get the triples before, you're pretty much on a good lap. I got a really good apex here. And then these whoops coming up, man. These whoops are so difficult. You have to get a perfect drive into them. And then there's like a weird technique where you like don't do anything. I still kind of mess them up, but then apex the corner here and grease it with a, a one minute 0.5. Okay, here we go, boys. Heat one of the 250s. After last week, I really focused on my starts and trying to minimize mistakes in the opening lap. As you can see here, I get a really, really good start alongside my teammate Jackson here. Now, Jackson also decides that he would he would like to turn into a freestyle rider and he'd like to backflip this jump. Because of that, uh, that puts me in second place right here behind old Mountain Drew. I wasn't able to triple into the first rhythm because Drew was there, so I doubled through this entire section right behind him. And honestly, I was feeling really, really good. I wasn't too nervous at this point. But unfortunately, I still have some learning to do about opening laps specifically. And I jump this triple and I really shouldn't have and I go down and that causes me to lose a ton of spots. Even though I went down there, I was I was feeling really, really good. I knew it was a long race and I was just feeling pretty confident. Unfortunately, as I entered the whoops here, Mr. Kiwin started to veer over to the right. And, and I kind of slammed into the back of him. Now, this wasn't Kiwin's fault. This is just kind of one of those bummer racing incidents. Now, after I picked myself up from that crash, I found myself back in like 11th place. That sounds really scary, but with almost five minutes left in the race and like all of my competitors right in front of me, I knew that I just needed to be consistent and capitalize on their mistakes. And that's exactly what we did, boys. First, Jackson makes a huge mistake. Then Pitbull makes a huge mistake. And just like that, we're back in ninth, but ninth is not where you want to be. But wait, Kiwin goes down. Now we're in eighth. And I, guys, I'm in eighth and I'm feeling better. I got those first lap jitters out of the way and we're feeling good. Oh yeah, baby. I locked in behind the guys in front of me and I was starting to flow really, really well. I get a great run through these whoops just to see Diantero and Mountain Drew get into it a little bit and slow each other up. I send it over the finish line and absolutely almost killed Diantero. I set my sights on Cat's Knot now. I locked in right behind Cat's Knot for a little while and then finally he makes a mistake and I was able to sneak around him. I had moved myself up to 6th place with that move and honestly I wanted some more. I started to push which caused me to make this bonehead mistake and I cased this triple but I managed to save it and then BOOM! Diantero changes his number to number 51 and yeets me off the track. I do my best to re-enter the track without losing too much time. I have to double the supercross triple and then when I land on the other side I get one of those beautiful Bobo slow physics and I get absolutely yeeted again and I get sent like two lanes over. Now I'm not gonna lie, after seeing that there was only like two minutes left on the clock, I was pretty discouraged. I just worked so hard to get back into a transfer spot just to get yeeted and then some awful slow physics. I, it was really demotivating. I will say I don't blame Diantero as I know it was an accident, but it was hard to keep that wind in my sails, you know? Well, that was until I started to see about four or five riders bunching up in front of me. And that, that that's exactly how many positions I needed to get a transfer spot. Okay, boys, here we go. I knew that with this many riders going in the whoops, there was bound to be an issue. I set myself up on the right side of the whoops, and man, what a good call that was. There was pure carnage in the whoops. After sneaking my way through that and absolutely tanking Aiden's bike, I found myself back into ninth place, the final transfer spot into the main. Basically, the rest of that lap was really mellow and I was headed into the whoops again. I had been really good in the whoops the entire heat race, so I was feeling really confident. But then, the worst possible things happen. I get bucked over the bars on the very last whoop and I hear not one, but two bikes go by. With only seconds left on the clock, I was absolutely stressed out of my mind. And yes, for those of you that know about my brain issues, I always say that I get dizzy when I get stressed, and this was no different. Man, I wanted this so bad, I was so close to getting my first main event ever. All that work I had put in, all the time and hours in this game, comes down to these last couple laps. 
all I needed was one more spot in order to transfer straight into the main. It seemed everyone in front of me was too far out and it was starting to be a little bit hopeless. But then, I see Pitbull going down in the whoops. I get a little bent out of shape as well in the whoops and I shoot off the track to avoid hitting him. Somehow I saved that, I don't know. And I was able to make the pass into ninth place. For the rest of that lap, I was pretty much on cruise control. It seemed all the riders behind me made some major mistakes and all I had to do was just get it to the finish line. We did it boys. We were able to get ninth place in the heat, securing a spot in the main event. I cannot tell you how excited I was. Unfortunately, my mic was muted. Otherwise, you guys could have heard me screaming and freaking out a bit. This entire year, my goal was just to qualify into the night show. I did not think I would make a main this year at all. So for me to do it at round two, especially, I was so excited, man. Okay, it's main event time. Time to execute another start. And honestly, considering I had a really far out gate pick, this start was probably the best case scenario. Unfortunately, I do end up clipping Mountain Drew's bike right here, and it makes me go down. After that, I guess my subconscious wanted to get back at Diantero for punting me earlier, and I make a very questionable track re-entry, and he wheel taps my head, which makes Cats not go down. I'm sorry, Cats not. That's my bad, bro. Even after a bit of a rough start, I was still feeling pretty good, feeling pretty racy, and, and wanting to push myself forward. So I continue to work my way up through the pack, getting around some riders here and there, but then we get to the whoops. In the whoops, I find out, I guess you can't wheel tap another rider's bike mid whoop section. Who knew? After that, it's a pretty typical MX bike whoop crash, chaos, and, and then more chaos. Just pure chaos everywhere. But even then, honestly, I think my spirits are pretty high. I, I didn't really lose that many spots there, and I started to push forward again. I was riding really, really well, and when I was in like 10th or so, I didn't notice people pulling away from me and it gave me a ton of confidence. That confidence led to me starting to capitalize on a lot of riders' mistakes, moving myself up through the field yet again. But here's where things started to go wrong a bit. I started to make a few mistakes and not even this big mistake in the whoops because I was able to immediately get those spots back. No, I'm talking about mistakes I didn't really understand, like those weird like Pobosa mistakes. Like, I mean, I'm not blaming the game, but things that I just didn't really understand what I was doing wrong. I had a few weird kicks that made me go down and, and it just kind of unsettled my nerves a bit and I started to overthink things. Also the E-Road started to kick in just a little bit which made me start to make some bonehead mistakes and unfortunately things just continued to unravel from there. Now something I like to do is not just blame my surroundings for my poor performance but analyze what I did wrong and, and try and learn from it. I'm trying to be better so I can't just blame everybody else. Take this incident here with Tyler. Tyler gets into a little pile up here with a few other riders so I shoot to the outside which I think was a good call but then as we go over the dragons back here I make the mistake of going to his inside. Like obviously I'm not gonna pass him here because in order for me to pass him I'd probably have to yeet him off the track. So instead I push up way too close to him and I hit him and it causes me to have to single this double into the whoops which obviously ruins my run into the whoops and and I end up going down and I, this is just an area where I think if I would have stayed behind him I probably could have stayed a lot closer which maybe I wouldn't have made future mistakes blah 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 it just kind of snowballs you know what I mean man at this point my race was so down bad I really just wanted to focus on being a good lapper I knew Casanova was in a really good spot to get this first podium, and I didn't want to be the guy that threw it for him. So as I'm going into the whoops, I can see him coming up behind me, and so I eat myself off the side of the track. That way he can have a straight run through. Probably unnecessary, probably a little extreme, but I just didn't want to be that guy, you know? Okay, okay, look at this, look at this. <laughs> look, Tyler and I get into it, and I, have, I end up having to, like, jump my way through the whoops, you know? Everything's fine, everything, we're just cruising, and then, <laughs> there goes Dylan. He split us like Moses on that one, boys. I'm so glad he didn't go down, and we didn't ruin his race or whatever, but holy, that was close. Anyways, boys, that's the main event. I think I ended up, like, 20th or 21st, something like that. Definitely not great. But I think I showed a lot of potential in these races, and I learned so much. I definitely think it's only up from here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!